Bitte großen Applaus für Rafa und Kesen. Hey Rafa, nice to have you here. In the big final of the Inter Extreme Masters Global Challenge, we are playing for 10,000 euro a dollar. And well, you're playing Kilsen in the final. Did you expect that before the tournament started? Um, I don't. I don't think so. But I always knew that it was a possibility, especially since this is Germany. This is his home turf, and um, I think the crowd will really get behind him, especially during this game. So I think it helped motivate him to try and do his best. You are probably the best player in Quake Life for a long time, even when you didn't perform that well on the QuakeCon. Um, well, what? What do you think about Kilsen? I always, always heard that he's a really, really good aimer, but he does some mistakes. Uh, what do you think about this guy? Um, he can be one of the best players, um, just he's not consistent, like some of us who have placed top three you know, at almost every tournament. But obviously, as you can see, he definitely has the ability to get to a final. And uh, we'll see how he plays today. I'm pretty sure about that. Thank you. Hey, Kilsen, uh, the big final. Well. This is amazing, a German player in the final. Happens not that often. Uh, how do you feel today? Did you sleep well? Uh, yeah, I feel great. That sounds good. Do you play, you play Rafa, who is considered as one of the best players in the world, probably the best overall. Uh, what do you think about your chances today? I mean, uh, if I really want to beat him, I need to count on my aim, uh, because his tactics are really strong. and. Yeah, let's see what I can do with my aiming. Well, I asked, to, asked you this question like several times already. You told me, yeah, my shape is really good, but not on, te uh, not on top. After the games yesterday and after you slept well, what about today? Are you in top shape for the big final here on Inter Extreme Masters? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, yeah, I leveled up my game uh, yesterday against Avec, and I hope I can uh, get to that level again against Shane. Well, let's hope for some really, really nice games. I wish you good luck for the games. I wish you good luck for the games. Großen Applaus für Kiesen und Rafa hier im großen Finale, nämlich der Inter Extreme Masters Global Challenge auf der Gamescom 2010. Ich gebe jetzt ab an die beiden Kommentatoren, Joe Miller und Kalip. Viel Spaß mit dem großen Finale. So we're down to the grand final here in Quake Live. It's Kilsen, the surprise package of the tournament on home soil. How much of a difference does it make, you know, playing in front of your home crowd, if you like? I think it does make quite a difference. I mean, if everyone in the room is cheering for you, it does get your motivation up a bit. But I don't think Rafa is going to worry too much because he knows, well, I might have not plays really high on QuakeCon, but I'm bouncing right back onto my series of winning absolutely everything. And a lot of people have predicted, you know, that after Kilsen beat Avec, that maybe, you know, Rafa's going to come into this one and just destroy Kilsen. Um, Kilsen seems really, really happy with himself, really confident for this game. I mean, what, how, much of a, um, how much do you think that Kilsen's going to throw at Rafa? I mean, in terms of uh, maybe map score, or do you think this is going to be a close one, or do you think Rafa's on a different level at the minute? I think it really depends if, if Kilsen's aim is on today, because Yesterday we've seen Rafa having a really hard time when Kula's aim was absolutely amazing. On T7, for example, his rail was really good. And Kilsen can put that, out, put that out as well. If his aim is up to his top level, he's going to have a really good chance on actually winning this. Or even, I don't know, we will see. I'm, I mean, it's going to be really hard for him anyway. Because Rafa won, won obviously against Kula, even though Kula hit everything. So, it's going to be hard. Well, we're about to get into game. First map here will be Lost World, otherwise known as DM13. And when we come back, we're going to get it underway. It's the grand final here of the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge in Cologne for Quick Life. So, Lost World first map, of course, a, uh, a map choice that we've seen both of these players play really quite nicely. Because we are going to get this one underway. It's the grand final. It's Rafa versus Kilson. First map here, Lost World. And we are at the start with Rafa. So Kilson actually get mega health. Rafa's going to take probably the, uh, the two yellows. Actually, he's dropped down towards the red armor. And, well, he's got some damage off there, but Kilson doing a good job of holding him back here with the shotgun. And now Rafa 
will think about maybe uh, moving over for that top yellow, but Kilson actually is already there, has already connected, uh, has already collected it. So uh, Kilson has an LG, Rafa has an LG, and now Kilson is just getting into position, trying to get a rocket launcher. This is going to be a really close fight already, and Kilson only coming away with one HP there. But there's, there's no HP off the Rafa as well, and the next Mega is surely going to go to Kilsen. Rafa's trying to spam some onto it, but Rafa is not looking in a bad shape now. This, this Mega didn't give Kilsen a lot. It only gave him 50 HP above the 100, which Rafa is going to have in a second soon as well. So they're looking kind of equal, maybe even in favor of Rafa. Right now, Kilsen going to drop down for that yellow arm. Reddy's next in play, and that LG might stop Rafa dropping down onto it. Kilsen actually starts to pack away that shotgun. Not, I don't think it did too much damage, to be honest. But Rafa, of course, is going to try and get out of there without losing any of that armor that he's collected. Kilson at the minute, has literally no armor to work with, and that's something that he needs to change and here. this is going to be before this mega, mega. Surely Rafa is going to be here, and he's going to move in. And this is the end of Kilson. The first player goes to Rafa easily. That was a great little push from Rafa. And I think Kilson knew it. If he didn't get that first rocket right, then Rafa was just going to break through and hit him close range with that lightning gun. And uh, of course, Rafa. After getting that last Mega, Red Armor has actually gone over to Kilson, so that's a nice little uh, cheeky move from Kilson. Of course, he is now the one chasing the lead. And Rafa doesn't have LG ammo, so he's going to have a hard time challenging that middle area. He's surely going to pick this one up, but Kilson is actually playing for the Mega already, and this is a really good play by Kilson as well. Yep, he's, he's kind of sandwiched himself between Rafa and that mega health spawn. As you can see, those grenades bouncing in. Kilson actually comes away. We'll actually do a bit of damage there with that lightning gun. He's dropped down for the red. And Rafa knows that right now he can't really uh, try and fight out there. Rafa's rockets there looking a little bit shaky. I mean, not hitting what he was supposed to be. Yeah, definitely. R Rafa knows what's at stake here. He wants to get back on this winning series. And it's going to be a hard one against Kilson, who is just so motivated. If you go into into this as, as an underdog and getting to the finals, you're just going to be so motivated and up for winning this. Red armor collected here by Kilson. Rafa is the one waiting out for Mega, and he'll get it without Kilson coming close to him. And actually, Rafa Rocket jumps up there. It was lucky that Kilson had backed down to that yellow arm because he did have the LG out, and that could have been very dangerous for Rafa. And that was a really good rocket from Kilson just to send him away from middle of the map. And Rafa is he needs to challenge this red armor. It's big for both of these players, especially because there's a lot of time left for Mega, and Kilson is going to pick this up. Rocket a little bit slow to come out there for Rafa. Let's switch over to Kilson. Look at him. He's 115 and 190. Moving out towards that middle area. LG comes out first, but he actually dropped down. Of course, that Mega health coming up. Kilson got the timing down perfectly on it. And he also has timing, of course, on the red, so he can find himself at almost 200-200 here before Rafa really uh, knows what's going on with him. And he's heard those grenades bouncing at the exit, but all of course exploding before Kilson goes through. Here comes Rafa into middle, and again, Kilson will just send him away. But Kilson definitely in the, uh, you know, kind of in the driving seat in terms of control. The problem is actually getting into a situation where he can make a kill. Yeah, and Rafa having 170 armor as well, it's gonna be really hard, but this is actually really good by Kilson. Oh, and look at the rocket from below. Absolutely horrible there for Kilson, but he's going to push towards Mega anyway. Rafa will steal it away. Kilson, who of course is successfully defending that red arm, will now come out of the teleporter. Rafa actually making the jump towards Kilson. And Kilson does back off for a bit more armor. Rafa going out of range with the LG. And Kilson, oh, oh my god, that was you know, very, very close to him dropping down into the lava. And he had to actually rocket jump off the ledge to uh, keep himself from dropping in there and losing that health and armor, which. Now, it would have been a lot more probably than if he'd you know, not jump, done that rocket jump off. Yeah, it, it was really bad for Kilson. He was in such a good position to cut Rafa off the other yellow armor as well and maybe even get the frag. And now he's again at the situation where he has full map control, but can't see Rafa. There is Rafa, who puts down a good defensive rocket. Won't slow Kilson down now. He has to defend this bottom exit, you see. Rafa's able to get out there, pick up a red armor, could be a little bit dangerous for Kilson. Red armor is going to be on its spawn point. Kilson still setting up that trap. Where is Rafa? Kilson knows it, he's just waiting outside there, and Rafa will actually make a bit of a move. He put down one rocket. Kilson will rocket jump away and take that height advantage once again in preparation oh, for the rocket. Mega. And Rafa 
down to 50 armor there. He still had a full 100 health, as you can see, but it is Kilson, of course, who's struggling here to chase down this kill, but he knows that you know, if he keeps the map control up, at some point he should be able to get the kill as he moves in there. Rafa trying to get away. Another great rocket from Kilson, but it's Rafa's defensive rockets that have stopped Kilson once again here. And there we go, shotgun pushing in, and we are going to be all tied up. Kilson finally will break through that barrier, but again, it wasn't the cleanest of kills, and he now has to hope that Rafa's not going to move in onto this mega. He actually is there, and we're going to see a shotgun fight. Who's going to get the uh, final hit? It will be Rafa to move back into the lead, and he's got 10 seconds to wait on that red armor, and that gives Kilson somewhat of a chance to build up something to maybe attack or at least put some damage down with. And that's the problem if you let Rafa stack up. Even though you get the kill, you're not going to get it clean enough to actually get the conversion afterwards. And Rafa just bounced back right away, taking that. He, he got a good spawn, you, you got to let that, got to let him that down. But it's, it's okay for, for Kilsen still. I mean, he's only one frag behind. Four minutes ago, he saw plenty of time, and he might catch Rafa out here as well. But great blast from Rafa, and he's going to move in here. 13 HP to get that kill. Oh, Rafa uh, just connecting with the wall a little bit. That's a great rocket down from Kilsen. Pretty much direct. And Rafa is in the same situation that Kilsen was in before. Except there goes a great rocket again. Down to just 2 HP. What can Rafa do now from this? Kilsen will actually be uh, just behind him. And look at the rocket from Rafa. Kilsen not even looking. And well, a rocket flying across the length of the map. And Kilsen has to smile about that one. And I think that was uh, the perfect time for the cooler quote, this is Rafa, because 2 HP and his rocket so perfect, so unexpected, and he gets the kill with 2 HP. Trademark play by Rafa, you might say. Well, lucky. <laughs> well, it's lucky to get away with 2 HP, but having the balls to go in, but 1 HP left again, and surely Kilsen gets the frag this time, and it's clean enough to probably get the conversion here, but Rafa gets a good spawn and lots of MG damage onto to Kilsen and Kilsen dropping down now. He's surely going to camp this out or even go in. Yeah, he's going for the shotgun finishing. He will pull it off. It's now 3 2. Kilsen just one frag behind with 2 minutes 20 to go. Red armor collected. Reg Mega health will be up here in just a couple of seconds and Kilsen should have free reign on that one. But again, that, that kill was not clean enough to actually follow it up again and he's still one frag behind. Two minutes to go. Rafa actually getting some good LG damage on here. Every single damage is going to count at this point. Kilsen obviously will be uh, wanting to chase. Maybe after this next red armor, that's the uh, time to do it. That's a great rocket up there. Not sure exactly how much damage it did, but actually I think it knocked him quite low. So Rafa will probably be on the back foot once again. Ten seconds to Mega. Kilsen, of course, has to be careful. These rockets that Rafa's been throwing out have caught him unaware a few times. And in comes Rafa. Rockets flying all over the place. And it is Kilsen who actually, well, we won't get a frag. Rafa killed himself there. But the good thing for Kilsen is that he got the frag. But it wasn't a clean one. And actually, off the spawn, Rafa got mega. And this, is a, this, was, this attack was a mistake by Rafa, if you ask me. He went too aggressive without a weapon. He thought Kilsen was in MG range. And he wasn't. So now Kilsen is back. He doesn't have a lot of HP, but he should be able to pick up this 50, and now he's in really good shape, and Rafa is in. Nine, five seconds till this red armor. Kills him. Gonna drop down. Picks it up fairly cleanly. In comes Rafa, though. He's a bit of damage from above. Kills him, has the time. He's pushed through, and he's gonna move, can move here onto that mega health platform. Rafa, surely in trouble, but it's Kilson that actually oh. takes the rocket to the feet, and Rafa will turn it into a frag. With 50 seconds remaining, Kilsen going in with a machine gun. Rafa down to just 19 HP. There's no help around for him. He has to be very careful. And all oh, that 50 comes up in the nick of time for Rafa. But still, he's far from healthy, especially now that Kilsen has that red armor as well. And I don't know if you've seen this, but he took the frag with 7 HP. Here comes the rocket jump and a direct rocket from Kilsen as well. 39 HP. In comes the machine gun fire from both players. Rafa switches out to LG. He's going to get another frag. There with 24 health points left. And well, the final few uh, minutes of this map being very, very intense. 10 seconds to go. Kilsen knows that he has to drop for the frag here. And there goes Rafa straight through the teleporter. Kilsen going to try and track him down with 5 seconds to go. Rocky jumps up and Rafa will just LG him down as they hit the final second. And it will finish 4-2 to Rafa who goes 1-0 up here in the grand final. What a game. What a game by Rafa. I mean, 
The key situation there, Rafa on 2 HP, killing Kilsen, who is in full control over the map with just three or four perfectly placed rockets, and Kilsen is going to kick himself for this game. Kilsen, the good thing you can see him there on stage, um, he's looking in high spirits still. Despite losing that first lap, it was a close one. And you know you're doing something right if you can push Rafa right down to the final kind of minute or so on, on a map that is so strong at. Uh, but now, of course, we'll move over to Battleforge. I uh, talked to Kilsen a little bit before this uh, game, before we came on stage here, um, uh, and told him you know, not to forget to look at the scoreboard um, when it comes down to the last two minutes, which is the mistake he made um, in the last time. Um, I think yeah, Rafa just had a couple of uh, little issues there as he gets back into game. Uh, but Battleforge between these two players, we've seen Rafa play some great Battleforge. Kilsen as well, uh, in all fairness against Havoc, was pretty good. We can get this one underway, so Rafa's going to ready up. Kilsen is ready as well, and of course the score overall in this best of five grand final is 1-0. to zero in favour of the uh, reigning champion of the Intel Extreme Masters, Rafa. Kilsen now is the one that has to uh, pull out all the stops to get back into this game, and that's one of them with the uh, start off here with that railgun. But of course, the problem for Kilsen is that he didn't exactly get the best of starts there. A great rail again though, and Rafa doesn't have a railgun yet, and Kilsen is just hitting so many shots at the moment. It's going to be hard for, for Rafa to get back onto the middle map. Red Armour in 8 seconds, Mega in 10. Which one will Kilsen go for? Right now he's picked up that yellow armor, which tells me that he's probably going to try and drop down for that Mega. He will indeed, and Rafa has already backed away for the Red Armour. So, you know, despite not getting the initial items early on, Kilsen's came out really nicely here, but look at the rockets. Both players throwing out very, very strong rockets, and a couple of them landing direct. Kilsen's in particular on the, you know, the first two or three rockets there of that fight were great. And if you look at Rafa, you can see that, well, he's in a lot of trouble at the moment. He's down to just one HP and five armor after that fight. He is railable here. But the problem is, Kilsen not quite getting the shots off, and Rafa's going to get himself into a fairly safe kind of health armor stack if Kilsen's not going to be uh, chasing this one. Yeah, but Kilsen's going to get his free mega. That's pretty good for him as well. Rafa placing some good rockets there. Kilsen can't really push in now. He doesn't have the stack. Nice, uh, nicely read there by Rafa. Expecting Kilsen to make the jump after that rocket. He's got no, uh, or didn't have any rockets left as he walks over the rocket spawn. There's another yellow arm. Mega, uh, sorry, red armor has gone to Kilsen. Rafa coming down for that yellow as well, which has been hotly contested so far between uh, these two players. Obviously, both of them using it in their strategy for this game as Rafa will push in both players. LT's blazing, and Rafa switches out to the rocket launcher with just 11 HP remaining. Hits the shot, gets himself the mega. Well, that wasn't, you know, the cleanest of kills, and maybe we'll see Kilson try and follow it up. Yeah, but on Battleforge, every kill is so important because it's, it's really so hard to get those kills, and that fight, I mean, it was so close. Everyone could have taken that. I mean, if Kilsen just hit a bit more LG, 11 HP, that is two shots of LG, that is just simply nothing. So, Rafa can consider himself lucky getting that frag. I mean, of, of course, the switch to the rocket launcher, really good decision. He would have lost if he stayed with LG then. Right now, less than 100 health, less than 50 armor. Kilsen will drop down here for mega health. Rafa actually rocky jumps away, but it wasn't a very good one. He went into the wall, and Kilsen will come around, gets the frag, but once again, Rafa doing some great LG before Kilsen was able to pick up the kill, and Kilsen knows it. He's frantically searching around for some more help. As Rafa will push in with plasma, clean rockets from uh, Kilsen, and he will now go into the lead at 2 1. And now, now there's nothing on the map for Rafa really to pick up. So he's, he has to play 10 seconds without any items, and Kilsen is already setting up for the big mega hell. Surely Rafa got the red now, but. Picking up this Mega is going to uh, give uh, Kilsen a good lead on the map. Kilsen really needs some rockets here. He's uh, going to be going into another fight. There we go. Rocket launcher picked up. He knows exactly Rafa's position at the moment. We've got six and a half minutes still to go here on the second lap of Battle Forge. And here comes more LG work from Kilsen. Of course, last red armor went to Rafa. Rail connects as well. And that surely crippled Rafa for this next fight. But is not quite able to get tabs on it, and Rafa choosing the right style there, just going backwards, throwing out the defensive weapon. Yeah, really, really good from Rafa there to get out of the fight. He couldn't have made anything happen there. Now he might even be able to steal away the red armor, but Kilsen is moving in, and great rocket. Wow. Kilsen picks it up again, and 
Now he's looking really, really good on this map with six minutes to go. Want to move from Hilton again. 150 armor he's got here. He may just chase down. Rafa's there, but with only a grenade launcher, he's got plasma as well. But surely won't be able to withstand the pressure from that lightning gun. And as we hit five minutes and 50 to go, Kilson is 4 1 in the lead. Oh, that railgun would have again, uh, again been just brilliant for Kilson's situation. But now he's just looking for more shots. I mean, while Kilson has this strong control, he needs to rack up a few frags because if he gets himself 5, 6 in the clear, that's the kind of scoreline that you can run even for 10 minutes maybe on Battleforge. Yeah, but every every second he wastes now without taking any frag. At the position he is in now is good for him as well. As, as long as he can keep this scoreline up for a really long time, he doesn't need more frags. This score could be enough and these rails surely going to send Ref away for another minute. I mean, 40, 50, that's not a stack you want to fight against girls with. Here we go. Halfway point reach. Kilson leading by three frags. Red armor next in play. Kilson is the one to get it. But Graffa may just uh, have a bit of a peek out. Both players missed that railgun shot. And the uh, mega health will now be the next one in. Kilson just tries to scare Raffer off there. Just bringing out his LG was enough to scare Raffer off. He was not going to make a jump anywhere whilst Kilson was still watching. The score remains. Four and a half minutes still to go. Red Armour next in play, and Kilson will finally get his way there via that jump pad. And Rafa is just not able to challenge for those big items at the minute. And Rafa is trying to rail him off the map at the moment, but it's not really working. I mean, Kilson's aim is just really on today, and he's been showing that so far in this map at least. The second so mega they're gonna come face to face down at the bottom of the staircase good rocket uh, sorry good rail from Kilson will now follow him with that lightning gun again Rafa switches out to the rocket this time of course Kilson survived it but still it was a great deal of damage done from Rafa and he's got the red armor spawn as well and now he's back on the map currently I think got no rail gun there we go remedied but still it's four frags now for Kilson. And Rafa knows the time ticking away. He really, really has to uh, make his move in this one. Here comes the rocket jump up. Kilson with the LG ready. Red Armour is going to spawn in just one second. And Rafa will take the frag. Let's switch over to him. But again, he was down to just 13 HP. So many fights in this one. Coming right down to the final few uh, health points. Shows how close of a game this is. Yeah, now three minutes to go. This is going to be hard for Kilson again. Nice move with the shotgun there. A lot of damage onto Rafa, but the red armor is just too too far apart from the mega now, and surely Rafa is going to get onto this red armor soon. That red armor will go to Rafa. But do you think Kils I mean, Kilson is intent there with his shotgun was just to put as much damage out as possible. Yeah, definitely. Great rail. But do you think? I mean, there are two ways to look at that. The fact that you're going to die, maybe, and the score becomes a lot closer. Or you maybe get a little bit lucky with your shotgun pellets and actually kill it. Yeah, but it, it was a good decision to go in there with a the shotgun. I totally agree with that. I just don't agree with his aggressive play afterwards. He would have needed a bit of time, maybe 30 seconds, to get onto some items. And he could have done that, but he just went in aggressively too fast. And Rafa just took advantage of that. Armor collected for Rafa, who's now up at a full 200. And the good thing for Kilson is that Mega and Red are fairly similar in terms of their timing. Rocket jump up from Rafa. Kilson could be in trouble. He's actually pinned down now into this corner. And Rafa's not going to let him go easily. But he's managed to sneak out underneath. Rocket to the face of Rafa. And just like that, the map has been turned on its head. Great that, by Kilson. That rail bike, if that had hit there from Kilson, that really would have... Uh, you know, Thrown Rafa into the pit. Right now, playing the range game, Kilson is not be much help than armor. Actually, the rail will land. It's still plus one frag that Kilson leads with, with one minute 40 to go. Rafa's going to drop down with the LG, and he's going to get the frag. We're all tied up here in the second map on Battleforge, and Mega is in four seconds, and that missed jump there from Rafa may just cost him that Mega health. Actually, no, Kilson won't Kilson challenge. Can't challenge this. He doesn't know what, what to challenge exactly, and Rafa is just... Oh, Rafa is so good predicting that move by Kilson, and surely he's going to get the Mega for free now, but Kilson is actually going to challenge for the plasma again, and it's going to be so close, this fight. 
Not much of a choice there. Down to 29 HP. Oh, oh. Rafa switches out to Machine Gun. That was very close for Kilson. I mean, he had the shotgun. Will chase him this time with the Machine Gun. And we've now got one minute to go. Kilson is only one crack behind. And he's waiting for Rafa to come for a rocket launcher. Hits the rail from behind him. Red Armor goes to Kilson. 10 seconds for Mega. And Rafa needs the rocket to defend this. Where is Rafa? Kilson trying to figure out where he's going to come from. If he's going to come from anywhere. And the Mega will go to Kilson. Rafa still with that one frag lead. 30 seconds to go. It's now another yellow armor. Here comes the rocket jump. Kilson following in with the LG. After the rocket, surely the frag. And Kilson will tie us up with 22 seconds remaining on the clock. And now he's going to actually chase him. Oh, and Rafa gets away from that situation. But he's definitely very, very hurt from it. And, you know, for Kilson now, 10 seconds to go, got back on the timings of the items. He could actually, you know, wisely force an overtime maybe from this. Yeah, we're surely going to go into overtime now. And the next Mega is, is going to be so big for both of these. And Kilson actually wins it and hits the rail afterwards. This is really good for Kilson. He might actually be able to already force a kill now on this, mega, uh, on this Red Armor. And another rail hit by Kilson. Rafa is only sitting on 40 HP at the moment. Yeah, and all Kilson needs to do really is actually spot Rafa, I think. And there should be a kill in it for him. There is the, uh, the shot. This time missing though. Kilson not quite sure where he is. He's actually just underneath. Good defensive rockets from Rafa, who's actually uh, oh, stuck around for a second there and actually will connect with the rail onto Kilson. Kilson has to be careful. There is still 1 minute and 20 seconds in this overtime remaining and he can't overextend himself to the point where he ends up losing out. Yeah, now both players have a really huge stack and I'm not sure if any of them is going to risk going into a back-to-back -back fight now. Kilson out of ammo for the railgun. That's a big thing for him. Sits back prepares for this red armor to come up so that he can fight over at Mega. 170, 160 as Rafa drops down in front of him. The LG going to be crucial. Rocking out again from Rafa. And again, they will back away from each other. Mega Health will go to Kilson. 200 with 50 armor. Rafa is looking not great whatsoever, but if he keeps hitting those rails, who knows how this will turn out as another Red Armour is thrown from one player to another. And there's not been much, uh, I mean, in terms of the last few minutes of the map, yeah, Kilson on the Mega Health was pretty consistent. But the Red Armour's been going really back and forth throughout the whole map. Yeah, the, the position of the Red Armour always um, plays into the favour of the player who doesn't, who doesn't want to, to challenge, really, for the big item, which is the Mega on this map. So Ruffer was able to pick it up out of control many times. And I'm really not sure... I'm not so um, positive about Kilson's play at the last Mega where he, where he got it and as we see another overtime edit, he could have gotten a kill there and now Rafa is back on the map and it's going to be hard to push him off again. Up to uh, full 200 armor, that rocket was really good from Rafa, actually connects with the wall right in front of him which didn't help things but there's yellow armor there to uh, top him back up. The level he needs to be. Red Armour next in play. Kilson already in position, but it's dangerous here as Rafa will actually make an aggressive move. Again, switches out mid fight to Rockets. Kilson will move on to the Red Armour though, and he survived that with just one HP. Absolutely ridiculous. But well, those kind of you know, margins you've seen throughout this game in the first map as well, players you know, surviving a fight with so little health. And this time it's Kilson that gets away. And uh, Rafa knows that he needs an armor and he needs to uh, start to push his way. And of course, he did get that last mega health, so that will really help him um, in the final minute of this second overtime. Yeah, that red armor is going to be up for, for Rafa as well. And Kilson is too late on setting up the shot for him. 160, 160 for Rafa. He's chasing around like a madman as he gets railed in the back. And that's the thing, the sound is a lot away here on Battle Forge as the plasma connects, but there's another rail back from Kilson. 45 seconds remaining. This could be the first map of the series that goes to Kilson. You never know what Rafa's going to throw out of his bag of tricks. You see, dropping down low again, Rocky jumps over towards the red armor. He knows that he's now got 30 seconds to launch his attack. And it's not the sneaky approach that Rafa was taking there. He was taking the run around like a crazy man. 
And now that you can get into the right position, this is it for Rafa. Can he push down Kilson? LG fight going out. Will Rafa switch out to oh, Rockets? He, he will. But Kilson will get the frag. And that's a two point lead with 10 seconds remaining here in the second overtime of the second map. And it is 9 to 7. Rafa has already called good games with five seconds left on the clock. And it will be Kilson to tie us up here in the grand final of the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge in Cologne. What a game. And once again, this is going to be an epic series. I have the feeling. And I'm, I'm really I'm really interested in how many of these fights we're going to see where a player gets out with less than 5 HP. Because that was the, the game-making frag with 1 HP. I mean, that is just so on the edge of losing it as well. Well, now we'll move over, of course, to the third map. It's going to be Furious Heights. And again, your analysis, Calypto, on these two players on Furious Heights. I mean, you, of course, on Friday night, managed to uh, beat Kilson on this map. Yeah, it's a really, really aim-heavy map as well. And I think Kilson could win this one as well, just as he won Battleforge. I mean, he did a few minor mistakes in Battleforge, if you ask me, but his aim really kept him in the game. And it could be the same story here, but... We've seen Rafa playing brilliantly against Kula here, making really, really good decisions and winning it in the end, just two seconds before overtime. Well, Kilson needs to uh, keep his focus in this one. Of course, he's brought the series back to a tie. Still, of course, three maps left in the pool. Furious Heights be the first, then Arrow Walk, and finally Blood Run. Seconds will be the third map, Rafa versus Kilson, the grand final. Near the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge at Gamescom. And the spawn for Rafa is one of the Mega Health. Of course, he will get rocket launcher there, get the shards as well before getting that Mega, which is delaying smartly enough. Yeah, this can be a good or a really bad move. If you lose the fight at the Red Armor and. Oh, they were actually they're actually meeting up out of so this. early in that one. Kilson throwing the rockets down and it's kind of switched map position. And that will actually leave Rafa in advantage when it comes to uh, this next Red Army. You can see Kilson there waiting with the, uh, with the rail. Again, he didn't connect. Rafa gets himself a rail plus more armor. So Rafa definitely having the uh, best opening 30 seconds or best opening minute. Almost. Especially now because he delayed the Mega Kilson can't really jump on it because he doesn't know when it's gone. And surely Rafa is going to chase for the kill here. Well, he will do with the LG. The rail actually came out there from Kilson. Knocked Rafa down to just 16 health. And again, such a low health finish from, uh, from a fight. No real surprises. Plasma from beneath from Kilson. Rafa still has no armor to work with. Kilson still wants a railgun. Yeah, he, uh, he does get it, but at quite a high cost, I think. Nice play by Rafa there, yeah, to wait for it. He knew Kilson would be going for this railgun. Alright, now Kilson will take a quick peek out. And he's actually going to come in behind Rafa. He will chase him down, surely here. Rafa doing the uh, kind of circuit, if you like. Oh, oh and that rocket Rafa. will knock Kilson away. Mega Health is still there. Rafa will follow up with a lightning gun. And he's going to charge over towards... Oh, maybe not, because I mean, he knew that Kilson was going to spawn at that side of the map anyway. So the point of really rushing over there was uh, kind of a moot one. But that play by Kilson, it was so risky because they were kind of on equal stacks. And that 180 flick rocket into Kilson's face by Rafa was just simply amazing and turned that fight into his favor so much. Rafa. Watching out for Kilson, and again, Kilson will land the direct rocket. Actually, Rafa switches away from the LG just in time before he runs out of ammo. Oh, Hits great, the right, right. railgun, but still, Rafa could be in a little bit of trouble. But I think Kilson won't have chased off there. He knew he was too hurt and didn't quite realize how low Rafa was. And again, Mega going over to over to Rafa, and he's had the time on it for the past two minutes. And Kilson never had really a time on the Mega Health, and it's so going to cripple him. Nice little move there from Rafa coming in from underneath and will fire the diet rocket right into the legs of Kilson as he drops down on top of him. And Rafa has gone back to his very, very solid play at the moment. He'll keep himself in his fight, utilizing that machine gun as well, but could be one HP now, now to a bit of uh, trouble. I mean, it's a good thing that Kilson, of course, didn't have that rail. But Rafa only has 26 HP and he has to be careful where he drops down. Actually, Kilson will again be caught by surprise. And Rafa backs away, gets himself the Mega, and he's now 125 with 25 armor. And we look over at Kilson, who's now a lot less after that great rocket from Rafa. Uh, 63 and 160. So Kilson's got an opportunity here 
um, when he gets his next red armor to really start to build his, uh, his comeback. Yeah, and again, out of nowhere, leaving that fight with one HP, and now Kilsen is in a good position to actually take the next frag and get back onto the map, especially after taking this rat so cleanly. Yeah, and a good choice to literally charge over to the other side of the map to wait for Mega as well. He's now, if he can get this Mega cleanly, 200, 200. Actually, Rafa's down there below him, but he did get it cleanly. And that will mean that Kilsen is in such a great position now for this next red armor. But Rafa probably won't even come anywhere near it. He's just going to try and uh, stack himself up on some red arms. There it goes, on, on some yellow arms. Great rail by Kilsen there. And there comes the second one. Great, great stuff. And that will leave Rafa in a bad position. And Kilsen knows it. He's probably going to follow in here. Kilsen will move in for his first frag. He's down to 37 health. LG will come out from Kilsen. And he will pick up that first frag for him here on Furious Heights. And he needs to be careful because Rafa's play around that pole is very, very strong. Great rail again off from Kilsen. And this was really good for Kilsen. I mean, coming back from a 1 HP situation where Rafa would have had uh, one shot to kill him and taking back the frag with a really good control as well. I mean, that was a really clean frag for Kilsen and he can surely follow it up if he plays it smart now. 50 health is available for uh, anyone that should need it. Maybe Kilsen will uh, try and take that away from Rafa. But well, the Rockets from above, really strong from the American. But well, that won't stop Kilsen picking up that red armor. Mega health up Great in a couple of seconds. But Kilsen is going to move his way in. But when he jumps over, the LG is coming in from behind, where he doesn't mind too much. He has managed to uh, take it away from Rafa. That rail misses. And Rafa was down to 72 health, 51 armor after that fight. Kilsen again dropping in, and those Rockets are spot on. But the LG from Rafa is more strong. Perfect that will end Rafa it four to one, and of course Kilsen did get his first frag, but Rafa bounces straight back, and that's probably the most important thing that Rafa could have done at this point. Yeah, that one rocket really opened up the whole fight. One rocket with a really good bounce, and Rafa getting the position below Mega, where he can just wait for Kilsen to make the move, get the good chef damage on, and take over the situation. So well played by Rafa. Drop again in onto this red armor. Too late though because Kilson's already had it away. But the weapons for uh, Kilson, I think, not going to be working out to his favor. Actually, he does have an LG as well now. More rockets. The thing he's missing is a railgun, which now around this mega health room is so really a must have. Four minutes to go. 4 1 is still the score to Rafa. Here comes a push from Kilsen through that teleporter. He's going to be in trouble. His LG was decent though. Will actually pull, uh, pick up that red armor, but the rocket hit him just as he collected it. Had to back away from it. And it's such a kind of scrappy fight here for, uh, for Kilsen. He's always taking so much damage, always having to back away. Yeah, and now Rafa is in really good shape again. And surely he's looking to backstab the next red armor. And Kilsen needs that red armor. He needs it to actually put up a fight for the next Mega Health as well. Kilsen goes in there far too late to get the railgun shot off. And he's far too early for Mega as well. So that's really not the greatest position that Kilsen could wish for, especially now that that LG is firing up from below. He needs these rails to hit everything. Drops down. Rafa's just gone through that teleporter and collected. No, he hasn't. He didn't go on to the Mega. In fact, he's going in for the shot. Switches out to the rail, and then comes in fast and aggressive with the lightning gun. And Rafa will pick up another frag. That Mega Health, of course, still able to be picked up, which Rafa will do. But the problem now is, of course, Kilsen's got red armor. But again, weaponry for Kilsen is the problem. Yeah, that's always the biggest problem you have on, on Furious Heights. After you lose a frag, you always have to get, you have to get these weapons back. And Railgun is in a really bad position to easily take. And Chef is also hard to take, so yeah, literally Rafa's is playing so well. Kilsen is actually putting on some good damage here. I'm not sure if he's going to back off into the red room. That would be a smart decision now. He needs to get a clean frag on. Two and a half minutes to go for four frags, that's going to be so hard. Both players trying to uh, hit the rails, and both players missing. Two minutes, 20 to go. Red Armour will be uh, the next major play. And will Rafa drop down on it? He's got the timing pretty much to a T, I guess. Or maybe not. Drop in just a couple of seconds. We'll drop in behind, and he did have that timing down absolutely perfectly. And Kilson's going to suffer as a result of that one. As that LG comes in, but well, that was a direct rocket, but not quite enough for Kilson. 
to uh, pick up a frag, but he may go aggressive off the spawn after uh, you know, knowing that he did so much. Yeah, he did a lot of damage there, but the clock is running against him now. Mega Health has up on its spawn point, and Rafa saw him pick him out, so actually has time on it as well. And nice damage here by Rafa, he knows the 50 is there for him, great rocket again. And Kilsen needs to get the frag soon, I don't think he's going to back out of the situation too easily. And now he's too late to challenge the Reds, and this is so good for Rafa. Control again, he's got the mega timing down, he's going to pick up this yellow as well. And Kilsen has nothing to his name, he's running around with 40 HP and 50 armor. And now he really has to charge in. Five frags, one minute, that's almost impossible already. And he still has to get the first frag for it. So Rafa making the jump over onto that mega health, which wasn't yet up. But he's not going to make that jump over just yet. He knows where Kilsen is wall railing from below. Or from above, I should say. And that's going to leave again. Kilsen very, very hurt. And just fighting to, uh, to keep himself alive. I mean, Good rocket there by Kilsen, though. Pushing Rafa down right onto the yellow. And... Rafa's stack is just looking too good at the moment. Oh, no he's rockets left. Rockets. That's bad news for Kilson. And Rafa's going to go out with the shotgun down to 7 HP. Kilson trained desperately. And Rafa's shotgun was just not connecting there for him. I think he fired three or four shots when Kilson still had 7 HP and didn't get the frag. But here comes uh, Kilson once again aggressive off the spawn. Rafa again will back away. Well, again, fire out those rails. The LG, first of all. But Kilson has Mega, but we've only got 16 seconds left to go here in the third map. Surely GG's are going to be called soon as well. Yep, there is a GG from Kilson. So the third map is going to go over to Rafa, and that will put him on match point. Of course, 2 to 1, with the next map being Arrow Walk. Well, we have had the, uh, the map folks come around. Of course, if you want to uh, check any of the progress on the tournament, check how each player got to this final, you can go over to intelextrememasters.com. Of course, throughout, the, uh, throughout Season 5, that's where you'll find all the news about the Intel Extreme Masters first. So it's somewhere that you should probably bookmark for the future. So we're on, uh, we're on to Aero Walk. I'm just going to tell them we are ready. Right, we're going to go into uh, this map there, so it is possibly the final one if Rafa can win it. Well, is of course 2-1 to one in favour of the American. And also the reigning champion of the Intel Extreme Masters. Good move from Rafa once again, the Rockets are strong from Kilsen. But again, the LG so powerful from Rafa. Kilsen was forced to uh, back away there onto that yellow armour, which is not a bad thing. Kilsen is looking really LG good now, well. especially after that direct rocket there. He's really going to move in for the kill here. And the first back goes to Kilsen from Germany. Great little start from Kilsen. Here comes Rafa though, so aggressive again. He's knocked Kilsen off that red armor platform. Going to come flying in with the LG as well. Surely Rafa's backed away, and he has. Kilsen misses the rail. He doesn't know where he is exactly there, Rafa, but Kilsen is down to 13. Rafa chasing him, but look at the rockets from Kilsen. How did he survive and get that kill? Really? Honestly, great play by Kilsen there, great rocket. Rafa down to 8 HP as well. You can, you've seen this so many times in this game where people have survived with absolutely nothing. And even there, Kilsen managing to get a frag um, out of his 13 HP as well. Yeah, it's been so close. I mean, every single armor and HP counted so much in this game. And that's really what you expect in the final. And Rafa, a oh, good rocket there from Rafa, but Kilsen is going to pick up the frag, but. He's, he's in no means in good control of this map. The next Mega is, is going to be hard for him to pick up. Definitely not solid. Good Rockets down the rail. Just a tad off there though for Kilsen. Well, missed the second one in a row, but the third one is good. But you can see from the health that Kilsen needs to uh, back away and replenish just a bit. Which he will do. A bit of armor there for him as well. So. Kilsen not looking all that much, but here comes Rafa, but again the Rockets from Kilsen, absolutely amazing, flicks him up in the air, and hits the mid-air, direct Rocket, and well, just brilliant, brilliant play so far from Kilsen, he knew what he had to do coming into Arrow Walk, and so far, he's doing it. Yeah, his aim has not let him down once, so nice, nice direct Rocket to the gauge there by Rafa, and surely, this is going to be bad for Kilsen, because now Rafa has this full map control. Nice Grenade there to at least shave 100 HP and armor off of Rafa, but Kilsen is not looking too good yet. 
Both players exchanging rails. Raffle, of course, is playing with that 25, plus the green, and he's now railable. That's the position that Kilson was aiming for. And as Raffle backs away, just so that he can at least survive one railgun shot after he uh, picks up this red armor, he will drop down. And he does indeed. Get hit by a rail, but now he's been forced uh, around as well with the rocket launcher. Mega help was picked up by Kilson. That was great kind of holding play by Kilson. He really held that mega area nicely. Yeah, and now he hit the rail as well. Rafa on 4 HP only, and no HP is up on this map at the moment. And there comes the rocket. Great work from Kilson, who now has a three point lead with seven minutes still to go. Don't forget, Aerowalk, very kind of fast flowing map one, which uh, you know, the frags can absolutely rain in in, in you know, just a few seconds, actually. So it's by no means sealed in stone here for Kilson, and he knows that. Working hard to extend his lead. Good rail shot there. Great angle that he's taken. And we'll maybe now try and follow in for this frag. Right armor is up in a couple of seconds. There he goes. Shotgun coming out from Kilson. He's going to follow up. Good rocket. Uh, sorry, good rail close range from Rafa. But it won't matter because Kilson, with his shotgun, will make it 6 to 2 with 6 minutes and 20 seconds to go. There are the rockets as well. Surely another frag from Kilson. It will be. Rafa is having such a hard time against this insane accuracy of Kilson at the moment. Yeah, I mean 45% on the rockets, we've seen some brilliant moves with that, 36% on the rails, but they've all been great shots from Kilson, let's be honest. Yeah, now a 9-2 lead, and Kilson is looking in really good shape, and I'm not agreeing with Rafa playing so aggressive now. He really needs to get to back some frags, but losing them now in this situation is going to cripple him so much. Kilson knows he can just sit back, hit the shot, which he's doing. I mean, Kilson's not really, despite what his accuracy says, he's not really missing anything important here. No, and he's, he's hitting some crazy shots as well. These crazy angles, and Rafa is jumping onto red armor. That is just insane to hit those shots, and he had more bills already. And now he's just wrecking up the frags, really. I mean, already a 10 frag lead here. We've still not hit that half time point, so, you know, what Kilson's done, Rafa can do as well, so. Can't really uh, count that kind of thing out, but the, the rails from uh, Kilson, his accuracy is growing by the minute. He's now up to 45% accuracy with his railgun. Good work from Rafa, but again, too much health, too much armor, and Kilson will survive it. And now Rafa is really, he knows, okay, this, is, this, this lead is getting so big, I really have to get a lot of frags soon and make a big comeback. And if Kilson plays this smart, he shouldn't actually lose this map anymore. 13 to 2, that's already a big scoreline. 4 minutes 45 still remain on the clock though. That's maybe time enough for Rafa to uh, work his way back in. Rails fired. In comes the LG from Kilson and completely shuts down Rafa on the move. And Kilson's reading Rafa so great as well. Almost all the angles that he's looking at is where, is where Rafa's actually moving to. And you know, that's a big thing being able to read your opponent so well on Aero Walk because it is so fast. There are so many routes around with the teleport system and you know, just the multiple tiers. And Kilson's name is looking so sharp at the moment. He might give up a frag here soon, and he's just going to play it slow now, which is a really good decision. Because every second could count now. Rocket's coming around from Rafa. There we go. That's finally a clean kill for Rafa. Obviously, after that mega health, he's going to get another one with the rocket launcher. The first one flung Kilson in the air and uh, kind of hugging the teleporter, but not quite going through it. This would be a great comeback if Rafa is able to do it. I mean, great ten, rocket there for Kilson. Ten frags in three and a half minutes, definitely, definitely doable. But all kill, I mean, Kilson knows that he just needs to maximise his damage, and Rafa's going to have no opportunity to really push him so aggressive. Yeah, as long as Kilson hits a few of these rogue shots, he delays Rafa a lot. And even here, he has a good. Oh, he leaves. He leaves really early here. I think he should have stayed longer there to put some damage in. Because Rafa needs those items to actually keep this damage up. Again, the rocket slowing Rafa down. No items up here for a while, and that plays into Rafa's favor if he can find Kilson. That's the main problem. There goes the uh, green armor being picked up by Kilson. Yellow armor not on for 10 seconds. Three till red. And the 
Mega following shortly afterwards. And Rafa's decided he's going to take the red armor. Mega is going to be picked up by Kilson, and that's another big pickup from Kilson with 250 on the clock. Yeah, this, this Mega is going to help him so much to delay Rafa a lot at least, and maybe even get the frag. I mean, he's looking really strong now, and Rafa has to chase, so he's getting predictable. And, oh, nice rail there by Rafa. Gonna wait out, hope that Kilson maybe pushes in a little bit too aggressive. Rail gun shots being exchanged, but not actually connect. Still a 10 frag lead for Kilson, but plus 30 seconds further on than it was before. And that's really uh, all Kilson needs to do is we have a challenge here for the Mega Health. Kilson did pick it up, Rafa taking a lot of LG damage again. And it probably Kilson means that he's not going to go in for the red arm. And Kilson's already up there. But Rafa has to take some risks at this point in the game. And Kilson shutting him down here. Two minutes to go. If he plays this map now, he should not lose this map anymore. Yeah, the lead has been extended up to 11. Kilson just having such a great aim overall. In this map, I mean, 42% rocket launcher, 42% rail, 32% LG. They're just amazing accuracies from Kilson. Yeah. And if you look over at Rafa, I'm guessing, yeah, they're just nowhere near that level. Yeah. Nowhere near. It's really been the aim that Rafa couldn't cope with at this map. And ZTN's another one of those maps where you know, if Kilson gets a good start and you know, with his aim, then Rafa might just struggle again. Yeah, but again on, on Blood Run, it's, it's, Rafa can play tactical. his tactical game again, which is really, really hard on this map. I mean, you just can't, it's so hard to take the pace out of this map, and Rafa likes to change the pace according to his position on the map, and you just can't do it here. Kilson again actually steals that mega health away. Did get railed a split second after the pickup though. And we are into the final minute by the way. 18 to 4 in favour of Kilson. That's a massive scoreline. And that will fill Kilson full of confidence for, uh, for the final map, which we will of course be seeing because there's no way at this stage in the game that Kilson will lose this one. What a great final to come down to the last pair, and just look at these girls, I mean, <laughs> that is just beautiful to watch. Yeah, really, Kilson has pulled out all the stops here on Aero Walk, he knew what he needed to do, and he's done it actually better than he probably thought he would as well, in all fairness. I bet he wasn't, if you'd have asked him before this, if he was going to win what, by what scoreline, he would have never predicted such a big win, I think, against Rafa. Definitely not, I mean, 21 to 4, 5 seconds to go. That is probably the, one of the biggest scores we've seen in this tournament, at least. Well, we are going to hit the final, and it will be 21 to 4 that it ends, and Kilson has brought us down to the tiebreaker map. Map number 5 will decide who becomes the champion here at the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge at Gamescom. Kilson or Rafa. Kilson says he needs a short break to get things together. Do you think this is the best time for Kilson to take a short break after a 21-4 win on Aero War? I think this is the worst time to take a break. Yeah. I, I really think that this is the worst time to do it. I mean, if he'd have, if he'd have been ahead and he'd just lost by that amount to Rafa, then that'd be a great time to take a break I because mean, to throw your opponent off, good yeah. stuff. But Kilson's on a run. I mean... Even even if, if he has to go to the toilet now, I mean, even if, if I was in his position, if I had, even if I had the P in my eyes already, I would still play at this point. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, he's the, the thing about Rafa though, I think he's not the kind of player that gets easily phased by losing a map here and there. I mean, of course, you've seen him at the Intel Extreme Masters World Championship Finals last time, coming all the way back to win the game and, of course, win the uh, World Championship as well. He can come back from, uh, you know, being seemingly down and out. Uh, the problem is that he's not down and out here. He's all down to the final map. He can kind of throw away everything that's happened before because what happens on Blood Run will decide it all. Yeah, and Rafa knows that this map, just um, looking at the maps he won so far, is probably more in his favor than in Kilson's. So he's going to be really confident. But on the other hand, Kilson having that run on Arrowwalk, he's going to be confident as well. Yeah, and of course, the, uh, Kilson probably just needs a, a few seconds to calm himself down after that because I think his, well, his nerves must have gone after a little while of you know racking up frag after frag after frag. At some point, he'll have relaxed during that game. But he yeah, now absolutely. knows that this is it. It's all down to this one. And I mean, we know Kilson. He's been around forever, and 
He's playing well, uh, played so well online. He can always be great players, but he's never really shown us at the Intel Extreme Masters in Quake Live what he's 100% capable of. But this could be it for him. Definitely, and I hope we're going to get live soon on this map. Well, we're going to find out here in just a second. Final map coming up between Rafa and Kilson to decide who will be the champion here at Gamescom. Uh, we'll be ready up in just a second. Kilson ready. Rafa, of course, has been uh, running around while Kilson had that little uh, break just to uh, refresh himself, and we are going to get this underway. So, Kilson may be about to win his first Intel Extreme Masters event in Quake Live. Rafa may just bounce back to the form that everyone thought he'd lost, and they've got the spawns down there, and it's Kilson who really did the damage with that lightning gun. He, uh, of course, got the rail as well. It gives him the red armor, gives him the mega health, and just a great start for Kilson. And what a horrible start for Rafa. I mean, getting destroyed on the last map before this, and then having the, probably one of the worst starts ever, and surely Kilson is going to follow up with a kill here. You have taken the lead. <laughs> Wasn't as, uh, as impressive as Kilson may have hoped for there, to be honest. He's really quite low, but that first rocket from Kilson was brilliant. But Rafa comes back, and that's going to give him the red armor. Again, though, he survived with very little HP. He's got the upper yellow to his advantage. That 50 is still there, of course, so early in the game. So Rafa, of course, may just be able to uh, follow up on this kill. The problem is, of course, Kilson didn't get the mega health. He's going to have the lower yellow. And we'll maybe think about challenging here, or maybe it was before that railgun hit him for this red armor. Miss rail from Kilson. That one will connect though, but also Rafa's did, and that's what Kilson needs to avoid. Kilson is below 80 HP. One more railgun, and Kilson oh my could and fall Rafa, behind in Rafa this. Rafa is playing so risky here. Kilson rocket jumps back onto that mega health. Rafa drops right down on top of that rocket launcher. Kilson quite happy to stay there for a little while and do some damage. Well, now actually cut Rafa up. The LG was brilliant there. Can Rafa hold on to this fight? He's actually sticking around. Of course, wants that red armor. Oh, but what a move from Kilson. Rocket jumps in, didn't take any damage and hit the rail. And he's just turned this map right back around. And again, we see these crazy rail shots from Kilson, which we love over the whole event here. And surely, Rafa being trapped in here, oh, Kilson actually dropping down for the Mega. It's probably a smart decision. I mean, he wants to get this frag really clean. The first one looked really clean, but it wasn't. So Rafa can bounce back and that should not happen again. And this frag just perfectly played by Kilson. Rafa did not expect that at all. And now Kilson's got the full map control. Well, you saw the move from Kilson after that lower yellow water rail again. Uh, Rocky jumps up from the lower yellow. and. You saw that Rafa was actually just halfway through a rocket jump up to the Red Army. You have no idea that Kilson was coming from that area. So again, that kind of tactical map here, suiting Kilson nicely. And especially since all these rails are, again, being quite ridiculous. I mean, his accuracy so far, 38% rocket, 43% LG, 42% rail. And you look over at Rafa, and 18% rocket, 15% LG, and 66% rail. But okay. to be fair, Kil Kilson has 42, but his rails are disgusting, really. I mean, he's just hitting these crazy shots that you should not hit. Right now, Rafa, of course, having to rely on the yellow armors to give him any kind of hope. Uh, challenging for uh, one of the big two items. And he's managed, in all fairness, to stack himself up to 100-200, which now, maybe, will allow him to uh, challenge for this mega health. Kilson will fire a rocket down, and Kilson's too late to move in. He was gathering shards, and we saw Kilson rocket jump away, will land the rail. He's only got a one frag lead at the moment, Kilson. It's definitely not a lot, but those grenades are going to uh, give him a helping hand to get hold of that red armor. So 120 health, 157 armor for Rafa. Kilson is 120, 200, so both players we're going to see a fight that they're so stacked that the fight itself is probably going to last around a minute. Well, both of these players know whenever they have a disadvantage in the fight and with that much of a stack, they're just going to leave the fight whenever, as you see now. Kilson knows, okay, I've got a disadvantage in this fight and he's surely going to back up to the mega here and even hits the exit rail. That is really good play by Kilson. Oh, great stuff from Kilson again. Oh, he should have hit that one then, Rafa. Would have uh, found that 100 armor that he collected was worth absolutely nothing. 140, 72. And Rafa again, he's up to 100, 200. So we'll stick with Rafa for now. Red armor up in 10 seconds time. And Rafa is going to take the uh, grenade platform area. 
try and make his move. He will actually drop here on top of Kilson, whose rockets were brilliant again. Kilson moving through, and that will allow Kilson to maybe make his move over onto that red armor platform. Mega is there as well, which Rafa won't really mind that exchange, actually, I think. But Kilson was lucky to get out of this situation with 100, considering he only had 50 HP after that rail from Rafa. Yeah, and again, Rafa's really holding both yellow armors, which you know, he, can, he can quite happily let Kilson have red sometimes if he's got both yellow armors and the Mega. Yeah, the Mega is an important item here. I mean, getting 200 armor on this map is not too hard. Getting 200 to 100 is just possible with the Mega health. And again, Kilson's aim is just not letting him down, and Rafa can find the opening. I mean, he, has, he had full map control until now. And just Kilson coming back with these awesome rail shots and predictive rockets. It's so good from Kilson at the moment. Rafa wisely waiting to take out 50 so that Kilson didn't hear him. But Rafa again misses a shot that you know, he probably bet a few hundred euros that you know, Kilson probably would have hit while spinning 360 or something. But here comes a drop down from Kilson. Rockets are good. Rafa was trapped in the corner. And again, we're going to see the conversion. Surely Kilson chasing him down. And it is the shotgun finisher. It's a three right lead. Oh, they get the exact same spawn. Rafa's fans, it's come on behind. And again, two rails in a row. Kilson, absolutely on form, 50% railgun. And, well, it's only half of the shots that he's hitting, but they're the good half. His aim is ridiculous, and again, you should be able to get him. And four minutes to go, 6 1 now. Kilson is just looking so strong, I just can't see Rafa coming back into this. I mean, look at Kilson's aiming. How is he going to do it? Well, Kilson has four minutes to hold on here. Rafa, of course, pumping that damage out. Great rockets by Rafa as well. Kilson waiting for that railgun shot from above, but Kilson now is maybe in a little bit of trouble. Let's switch over to Rafa and see what he's got to offer. Kilson, of course, took that last mega. Rafa is waiting on upper yellow. You can see the urgency in Rafa's movement now as well. He's like three and a half minutes is not a long time for five frags. And now you should realize uh, he's playing against Kilson, who is 6 1 up, and he's hitting absolutely ridiculous accuracies. But now Kilson actually in a really bad position, picking up that 25 there is not going to help him sustain that fight. And 3 minutes 50 to go. Oh, this is so good for Kilson. Oh my god. What a, what a really good spot for Kilson. Rafa getting actually the same spawn. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I tell you what, everything has fallen into place for Kilson. Everything is falling here. into place for Kilson, definitely. And sometimes that works against you, sometimes, as Kilson's happily finding out, I'm sure, it's working with you. He's got a six-frag lead with three minutes to go. There's more railgun shots. Still sitting on a cool 50%. And again, the spawn pretty much right in front of him. And for Rafa, I mean, if this was cooler, he'd probably have quit by now. Yeah, I'm really not sure. I, I don't think Rafa is ever going to quit. No, but I don't think so either, to be honest. But he's going to be frustrated now, and this looks almost impossible to get back from. Kilson back onto Mega once again. He's just gonna wait for the shot. I think that one was too easy for him. I just he just thought, well my Rafa should already be frustrated from my game, so I might as well miss some easy shots. <laughs> Kilson taking every little bit of health he can, even from those uh, five HP bubbles. And he knows that Rafa was uh, down there somewhere. I think he heard him, yeah, he's gonna go through that teleport and out. Kilson not moving too much to uh, dodge that railgun. Well, he will dodge it anyway. Red armor collected by Rafa. Mega up in a couple of seconds, and Kilson's like, well, two minutes to go. I've got 165 health, 73 armor. Rafa's gonna have to come and get me, and that's exactly what Rafa's doing. But again, it's Kilson who comes out on top, and he will sit there on the red armor, not knowing the time, you know, at all. It was 11 seconds early for it there, and that's not really a problem, because he's still hitting his shots. His rockets again coming in, survives with 21 health. There's no uh, health bubbles there. Those 225s that spawned by the grenade launcher weren't up. But and again, he won't care. And again, he will hit another railgun. And I'm pretty sure that Rafa is going to find this ridiculous as well. I mean, no matter what you do, it seems like he's just hitting every single shot. What are you going to do? Every time you hit a shot, he just fires it back. And every time you miss, he hits anyway. 13 to 2. 11 frags. Is the lead that Kilson is carrying into this last minute. He's also got himself, or almost, on himself uh, onto that mega. Finally, Rafa will uh, bring a shot back. Question is, will Kilson catch him out here at that upper yellow? It certainly looks that way, and Rafa was expecting him to come in from the health bubble. I think he thought Kilson was lower than he actually was there. 
And with 50 seconds to go, 13 to 2. This is pretty much the garbage time that probably not both of these players enjoy. I mean, Kilson knows, okay, I'm the winner of the first global challenge of the new Olympic Extreme Master season. And Rafa knows, okay, I got six in QuakeCon and I didn't manage to win this event. And finally, Rafa gets a frag bag at least. Well, we're into the final 20 seconds. It's still a 10 frag advantage for Kilson. And look at his rockets, they're just hitting almost every single time. And Rafa underneath, he knows that he's probably, uh, wasn't maybe gonna come out of that, but in the end, he ended up with it. We have six seconds to go. Again, Rafa will drop down. And Kilson looking for a final frag maybe to this one, but he is gonna tick away and Kilson will win the first Quake Live event in the Intel Extreme Masters Season 5 beating the reigning champion from last season, Rafa. And well, he came through this tournament, it was an upset that he got to the final, but he just doubled that upset with beating Rafa in the final. Yeah, just great, great play. You gotta give credits to Kilsen, pushing out these rail guns constantly, and his aiming is never letting him down, and his technical play was really good as well. He really deserves this thing. He really does. I mean, he's obviously practiced so hard. I mean, the guy, you know, married with a child, works a lot, and so he may not have time to practice as much as other people, but he's come here and he, you could see it in his face. He wanted to win so bad, and he's come here and he's won the entire tournament. And I don't know, just hats off to kill some brilliant performance from him. Hello, everyone. Thanks for being here. It is time to conclude the tournament with the decoration ceremony. In third place, let's bring to the stage Maciek Szykowski Avek. In second place, representing USA in SK Gaming, Shane Hendrickson, the Intel Extreme Masters World Champion, Rafa! And in first, marking his first major victory today, coming from Germany, Marcel Ball kills it! How does it feel? Absolutely amazing. I think uh, I will realize it when I'm at home and have some minute for myself. All right. This audience here has been supporting you. Have you felt the support? Yeah, of course. Only because of the crowd uh, were possible to do this. Well, I think this is time for you. They're all German, or most of them. It's time for you to thank them in German. Thank you, Shane Jung. And I think you have something for them as well. There you go, the champion has two t-shirts of his team. Thank you guys, you've been wonderful. All right, so let's have George Wu from Intel present the players with the checks. Avec in third place. Second place, Shane Rafa Hendrickson. And receiving a check for three and a half thousand dollars. Marcel Nielsen Paul, giving me a big round of applause. 